Hiya, this is just a quick video showing you which uh, material to take from My Dundee. Um, so, sorry, from, from Digimap, not My Dundee. Um, so, I'll just get logged in. Okay, University of Dundee. There we go. Okay, so you're going for the Ordnance Survey. Okay, then Data Download. Okay, you can either go to the map first or you can choose your products first. Let's uh, just zoom in on the map, get zoomed in on St Andrews, get in as close as you can. Okay, and let's say I was taking the uh, Gregory Place site information. Okay, so we'll just center that on the screen. Okay, then over on this side you're looking at the products that are available and from the OS master map one you want topography and from the land and height data if you want contours as well go for OS terrain 5 contours DTM is a digital terrain model and this goes all over the place up and down over buildings and trees and stuff it's not much use the terrain 5 contours are fine okay so we've chosen our two products then we need to define an area that we want to, to use. So this is the simplest one to draw a rectangle. Okay, and you're picking two points. Okay, so give yourself a bit of slack. I'm gonna make mine plenty big enough. Centered on Gregory Place. Okay, so it's just two clicks and two corners. Then come down to the bottom corner here, add to basket. Okay, this is the important bit here. You need to, for the topography one, if you go for DWG and then the theme, if I were you, I would just go for plan. Okay, and that has no shading. You'll need to dump the shading anyway. Okay, and for the terrain, you want DWG as well. Okay, there's nothing else needs to choose chosen there. And give this a name so I'm just going to call it GP show for Gregory Place and request the download okay and that sends an email so let's just kick the email into life okay the first email is probably there already waiting for the second one to come in so this is in response to Ross who asked me to do this well he didn't ask me to do this actually he asked me what the products were so this answers it for everybody so that's the request email and this is the ready for download one so have a look at that one and at this time this is this is it's half past seven in the evening it's very quick to to give you your your stuff um, if it's midday during the week it can be quite a bit slower Okay, so I want to download the data and make sure you haven't closed, you know, don't close Digimap, okay, because it needs it open for when you click on this. Okay, so we're logged in already, it knows it's us. We can download the data, save as, I'll stick this on my very cluttered desktop, that's me, okay. Okay, that's it done. Digimap's finished with now. You can close all of these. Don't need to keep anything. And I'll have a look at the zip file. It's just here. I'll extract it. I'll drop it on the desktop. Okay, so there's two bits of information in here that you need. Okay, you need to kind of go into the folders. Okay, this is one of them and I'm just going to rename this because the, the name there is awful so I'm just going to call it Gregory Place OS uh, I'll call it Master Map MM Gregory Place MM Master Map I'm going to cut that out of there and put it at the top level here just so I can get to it easier and similarly in the Terrain 5 folder 
Okay, NO is an Ordnance Survey reference for the square, the, the main square of the British Isles that this comes from. Okay, and luckily there's only one file that's needed here. Uh, the site is sitting within a single square. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this to Contours. Okay, cut that as well so I can get to it easier and just paste it here. Okay, so that's the two that's the two files. Dump all the rest of the rubbish, not needed. Okay, and on my Dundee, as I mentioned today, there is a a blank drawing that you can use. Okay, so if you get this from the, the teaching material on AR12009. Okay, and rock it in through this pretty quick because it's it's not tricky. Uh, CAD tutorials, site plan. Okay, and right down at the bottom here, in importing master map, it's this file here, OS base drawing. So save that somewhere. Get it onto your desktop. Just block it there. Okay, that's ready. I'm going to open that in AutoCAD. I'm doing this quick because the uh, the Chelsea Man United game's on, and uh, I'm kind of working while I'm watching it. Kind of. Okay, I don't like either team, but I prefer Chelsea to win over Man United. Okay, so I'm going to open the base drawing first, okay, because this is the one you pull the other ones into, OS base drawing, and open, okay, and the layers list you'll see is, is huge, it's got all the Ordnance Survey layers, but they've been coloured to suit our black and colour CTB, okay, and we pull the other drawings into this, so insert, Okay, browse to the desktop, to the download. Let's bring the uh, contours in first. This always looks cool. Okay, take the tick off insertion point just so it comes in wherever it needs to go for the Ordnance Survey. No changes to scale or anything. Okay, do a zoom extents, and there's our contours. So this is this is the bit we're interested in, this is where St Andrews is, but it's hard to tell by just looking at that. So bring in the other information as well. So we'll bring in the Gregory Place master map. Notice none of them show up for previews. Don't worry about that. Okay, so there's the master map information in exactly the right place. Right. Um, what we need to do here is explode everything and just make sure everything is on the, is colored by layer. Okay? So this is going to stay red and black unless you explode it and change it. So explode both of them. So X return and pick both of these chunks and enter. Okay? Now drop back and we want to change. So this will launch the properties panel. Okay? Grab everything and here, see it color varies, it shouldn't say that, it should be color by layer. Okay. So what we can do now is pick the maybe the 25 meter contours and differentiate those from the the other 5 meter ones. So we'll go back to the home ribbon and looking for the contour layer there difficult to tell what's going on here so we've got ordinary contour line that's looking interesting label I want master contour line there we go let's make those a different color something a bit more interesting okay can we see any yellow there Aha. so that's the label ah that's the numbers for that contour line so what was it called it was called master contour line so hopefully there's a, a layer called master contour line there it is, and was it this colour I chose? I can't remember. 
that'll do. Okay, so it helps you read the map if you if you kind of change the the 25 and 51, you can kind of get a better idea of what's happening. So high ground here, sloping down towards the town, and then it eventually drops off to the to the water's edge. What we got here, low water line. That's a red's a funny colour for that. So let's let's change the colours of these. So we've got a low water line and a high water line. So let's make these both a watery colour. Water line there. I'm being a wee bit quick with the colours there, and that's it ready to go. So the colours here are all ready to to go as far as the CTB file goes. You've got a reasonable spread of uh, of um, spot heights here. It's going to be pretty easy to to work out what's going on. Okay. And after that, it's a case of maybe sticking a rectangle around this and cropping it down to the area that you're interested in. Carrying all those contours is a bit of a waste of time. Okay, so you could use a, use a box just to trim things down. Okay. Just chop all these off. No need to keep it. Okay, erase all this stuff. You can always find out the height of a contour just by listing the line. So we use the list command and it will tell you the Z height. So that's the 15 meter contour. Okay, just list them because these are the contours are in 3D. So watch out for that. Don't draw lines from the contours because you could end up in a bit of a mess. Okay, and we would then save as and let's call this Gregory Place OS Map. Okay, so saving it, it's quite a lot of info there. Now there could be some information switched off, just watch, have a look, check your layers, make sure there's everything switched on, because sometimes some of the information is switched off. It looks like everything's showing up there. Okay, it's more kind of little spot height positions. I think they're all on, I'm going to check that again. They're all, all visible. Yeah, nothing's frozen, all turned off there so it should all be okay okay you and finally use a purge command purge clears away all the rubbish so there's lots of stuff here it'll, it'll dump a lot of the layers as well that aren't there okay so ticks on all of these purge all purge all items close the layers list should be a fair bit smaller now yeah much smaller that scroll, difficult to use that scroll bar. Okay, and that's you good to go. Now watch out though that the origin is a long, long way from here. So a line from zero comma zero is a long, long way away. Okay, so just bear that in mind. I'll talk about that more when we're discussing 3D. A couple of little items there. Delete those. Okay, hope that's useful to so remember. It's the master map topography DWG plan, and the contours are the OS terrain 5 meter contours. Okay, so I'll save this and I'll stop my video. Okay, have fun.